Okay, now we're going to go to number 11. Let's check out what we got here. Oh, same, more of the same stuff. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure you all have this equation that we're aiming for. This is the equation we got to fill in the blank with. And I am going to make some charts today. Today or tomorrow, I mean, or Monday. You'll have it up for the test. Those, I mean, those little like pieces of paper on the board, you know. So with that said, this is the thing we're looking for. So now I'm going to go find the butt. This is the little vertex right here. And basically what I have, oh, not that. What I have found, let's look at this point. This is negative 2. I can see that this is obviously negative 2. That's the x values. Negative 2, comma, and then we went down 1, 2, 3, negative 3. So for my h and k, I'm going to record it exactly as is, negative 2 and negative 3. And now I'm going to get my, my skeleton set up. I'm going to leave that blank because I know an a has to go in there. And then I'm going to write my x. What do I know about my h's? They lie. The x's together, they lie. So I'm going to make sure that this negative 2 turns into a positive 2, but my k's tell the truth. Now I'm going to have to use that weird method, hold that weird like a equals y2 minus y1 over the square root of x2 minus x1. It's, it's just a modified slope formula. That's all it is. So let's go find a point that looks perfect here. This one looks perfect to me. That point looks good. Um, so if you end up choosing a weird wrong point on the test, and like, but you do the math correctly, I probably won't take off for that. But I mean, I'm talking it has to make like sense, right? If you just pick this weird one in the middle, come on. But if you pick one that is kind of weird looking or the print looks off, I'll be cool with if you pick the wrong point. Um, with that said, the point, what is this? This is negative one, negative one. Is that point negative one comma negative one? So I need two points for this. So what am I going to use? I have negative two comma negative three. That's my vertex. And then I found a random point using my own logical skills on here. So now I'm going to plug this in correctly. Y2, that's this one right here. That's negative 1. It says to do a minus sign. I'm going to put that in there. This also happens to be a negative 3. I'm going to do this again. Now the square root of negative 1. Again, follow these minus signs, y'all. And then what goes in here? Negative 2. So let's see what I got. I'm going to clean this up. This is going to be cleaned up. Uh, I'm going to do it. This is step A. I'm going to go to step B. Here I go to clean it up, negative 1. This minus minus turns into a positive 3. Underneath, the square root of negative 1. This also turns into a positive down here. Minus minus turns into a positive. And you end up with negative 1 plus 3 is 2. And then negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So that's still under the square root. You have to take the square root of 1, which is 1. And then 2 over 1 is, in fact, 2. So when it's all said and done, we end up finding 2 as our A, which is pretty exciting. So it's kind of an annoying process, but there you have it. Um, that's it for that one.